Welcome back to AP U.S. History. Uh, this is Chapter 24. We're going to be talking about the Great Depression. Uh, the Great Depression lasts for about 11 years. Uh, some say that it started in 1929. It may have started a little bit earlier than that. Uh, and it's going to go up through 1941 uh, when we enter into the World War II. And then in a matter of months, uh, there'll be full unemployment and America is back to work. Uh, certainly this is one of the, the worst economic slumps in American history. Uh, one in four people were unemployed. Certainly people lost their homes, um, lost their farms, uh, went bankrupt, lost their life savings, banks crashed. It was a horrible time in America. Now we've had other uh, depressions. Of 1893 certainly was a, a difficult time for people. Uh, it seems that it runs about a 25-year cycle in American history where we run into an economic downturn. Uh, Hoover is the president when this takes place. Uh, he was elected in 1928, uh, nominated by the Republican Party. Uh, again, uh, there's no reason to believe that prosperity uh, won't continue. Uh, he bases his candidacy on prosperity and prohibition. Uh, he is a supporter of the 18th Amendment. Alfred E. Smith is nominated by the Democratic Party. Uh, he is Catholic, uh, former Tammany Hall boss. Uh, he was the son of an Irish immigrant. Uh, uh, the rural America in the South seemed to oppose him because of his heritage. Uh, Hoover preached against socialism and he believed in this rugged individualism that people could pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Uh, he himself uh, was a self-made man and believed that anyone could follow his example. Uh, religious leaders suggested that people vote for Smith. Uh, if you voted for Smith, you were actually voting uh, the Pope from Italy because of his Catholic connection. Hoover's going to win on a landslide and Hoover's plan is more the same, that is, uh, promote businesses, uh, increase tariffs, make sure people pay their debts back to the United States. Uh, he does not believe in individual help. Uh, he believes that that will destroy the work ethic. In his uh, campaign speeches, he says that poverty will be banished from America. Uh, certainly uh, opposed to socialistic programs, he is not a progressive. Uh, he is a conservative. Might even say that he's a reactionary uh, because he likes it uh, the way things were before the progressive period. Uh, he's not going to do much in terms of controlling business interests. Uh, he believes in laissez-faire. Uh, he believes that everyone ought to be rich, certainly pro-business. Uh, the Great Crash comes in 1929 and uh, this is uh, one of the worst things that has hit the stock market uh, since its inception. Uh, for up until this time, it was a bull market, uh, and that uh, it seemed like the stocks would never come down, and that certainly there was stock manipulation. People bought on margin. That is, if you bought $10,000 worth of stock, you only had to put up $500, which was a pretty good deal. And then as the stock moved up, uh, increased in price, you just you took the profits, paid off the $10,000, and walked away with what was left over. Um, and so this seemed like a good deal as long as the stocks keep going up and up. Uh, in fact, businesses, banks, uh, were investing in the stock market. Um, little people were involved, little investors were involved in the stock market for the first time. Uh, so, who's holding the sack when uh, the market goes down? Well, the banks and the who finance the, the brokers. Um, and in 1929, uh, the crash comes to the United States. Uh, I'm in the market for you. This was a popular song. Uh, Blue skies forever. Uh, stock market crash. Uh, did not uh, realize the uh, effect it would have. No money to replenish what was borrowed. Uh, many people found themselves broke, humiliated. Banks failed. Uh, certainly this was a tough time for Americans. 
this again buying on margin good deal as long as the market keeps going up but if it goes down then there's what they call a, a margin call and you have to come up with the money that you borrowed and many of the people couldn't come up with the money so they lost their five percent or ten percent that they put down on the stocks and the stockbroker sold the stocks for whatever he get, could get from it uh, and then there's a, a huge loss somebody's suffering a loss uh, people got in a panic uh, and all of a sudden everyone wants to sell their stocks nobody's buying um, people go broke you're a millionaire one day and uh, penniless the next uh, Hoover believed that uh, this downturn was caused by over speculation uh, investors gambled that the price will continue to rise uh, so the stock prices were at an artificially high because of this speculation Hoover unsuccessfully tried to curb speculation through the Federal Reserve um, saying that the the amount of money that people would put down would have to increase uh, but no action was taken now Black Tuesday which is the secret words for this uh, video uh, is when the, the stock market took a tremendous uh, fall everyone wanted to sell people were jumping out of buildings uh, it was mayhem no one knew what to do there were a few investors who tried to calm the fears uh, but it was of no use. Uh, the stocks lost $25 billion by the middle of November. Uh, fortunes were wiped out, and certainly people were jumping to their deaths. Uh, that wasn't necessarily the fact for all, but there were some people who just couldn't deal with the loss of all their money. Uh, traditional historians interpret uh, the crash as the immediate cause of the Great Depression, however, uh, many say that there's no direct correlation, but certainly it is at th the time when things are going to go south uh, in the United States. Now, the causes of the Great Depression. Uh, we had a weak industry. Um, places that were making cotton uh, clothing uh, were being replaced by synthetic uh, fibers. Um, certainly there was there's a, star, a spiraling downward trend of unemployment. Uh, the more people are laid off, uh, the more people, uh, more businesses collapse. Uh, this is a t picture of a soup line where you would wait all day for a bowl of soup and a piece of bread and maybe a cup of coffee. Uh, this shows a picture of a woman and seven children in California. They were fruit pickers. Um, the good news about this story is that she survived and so did her children and they went on to prosper. But you can see on her face she was pretty worried about her children and about herself. Uh, out of the Dust Bowl, uh, well, the South uh, suffered one of the worst Dust Bowls uh, in the Midwest that they'd ever experienced. It was a, a catastrophic event. Uh, this is a man standing in the middle of the uh, dust storm. It seemed like it blew forever and ever, dust on everything. Uh, the topsoil was blown away. There was no rain. You couldn't grow wheat, which was primarily grown in the Midwest. Uh, homes were buried by the, the dust. Um, the South was in a state of emergency. Uh, it was the number one weather crisis of the 20th century. It was just uh, horrendous things. Uh, farms are f uh, foreclosed during the Great Depression. Uh, people would sell whatever they had. Uh, farmers would come by and buy whatever they could. Uh, some people turned to making uh, baskets and other things to su survive. Uh, there was uh, flyers put up in Oklahoma that there were jobs in California and many of the what they called Okies loaded up everything in the back of their trucks or a, a trailer, mattresses, uh, everything they owned and they were heading to California to pick fruit. This is a Christmas dinner of some folks living in California during the Great Depression. Uh, you lived from hand to mouth. You were lucky if you had something to eat. Uh, this is uh, what they called uh, squatter villas, squatter settings 
in her uh, shack. Uh, people tried to make make do from whatever uh, they had, so they'd have some shelter. If you go to Mexico, uh, you will see a number of these kinds of buildings uh, where the poor live. Uh, but people certainly lived on the outside of town. They were just trying to survive. This shows a woman who's uh, 18 years old with a little baby playing in the dirt. Not much hope for the future. This is, uh, shows another Oklahoma mother during the Great Depression with a boy uh, trying to figure out where they're going to get their next meal. Uh, Hoovervilles uh, sprung up. This was uh, in reference to President Hoover who said poverty would be uh, eliminated. This simply shows sort of the sarcasm. Uh, many people believe that Hoover uh, did nothing for them during the Great Depression. And in fact, that's pretty much the way it worked. Uh, I don't know that he could have done much. He, he he wasn't equipped. He wasn't. He really didn't know what to do. It was a job that was uh, beyond his uh, expertise. Uh, people lost hope in America, and they blamed Hoover for it. If you're the president of the United States, uh, you either get the credit or you get the blame. And he got the blame for all the de uh, unemployment and people living in shacks outside the city um, and this was uh, all they thought because uh, Hoover wouldn't do anything for him. Now getting back to some of the ideas uh, that caused the Great Depression well railroad industry was affected by trucks and automobiles so they had uh, less passengers and freight so they're going to be hurting towards the 20, end of the 20, uh, 1920s. Uh, farmers never really recovered from the uh, World War One. They simply overproduced and have had a depressed market and then didn't seem like uh, they could grow themselves out of the the Great Depression or the Depression because the more they grew, the lower the prices were because there was a surplus uh, and they didn't know what to do and they just kept making more. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there was just so much that could be purchased. Uh, some factories oversold inventories, which caused workers to be unemployed because um, they had to get rid of the inventories before they made more uh, merchandise. Uh, also, too much consumer credit. People bought on time, and when it came to paying it back, it's all well and good if you have a job, but if you lose your job, then you can't pay your bills. Now, the Roaring Twenties, uh, this new concept of credit, uh, people were buying large ticket items to make their lives better. Automobiles, appliances, and clothing. Uh, people are dancing. A, it's uh, flappers. Everything's good. You can drink. There's no problem. No worries for tomorrow. Certainly they were very optimistic about the future. Uh, credit system. Uh, buy now, pay later. Uh, the U.S. was the major credit loaner to other nations in need, uh, but again, after World War I, these nations won't be able to pay us back. Uh, certainly, there was uneven distribution of wealth, and we're going to stop here and pick this up.